Salvatore. Uh, we'll continue solving uh, IB uh, past uh, paper questions. Uh, and uh, this is uh, physics, uh, paper two, high level, uh, May 2021. Today we're going to solve question number two. And question number two is related to topic three, thermal physics. If the graph shows the variation with temperature T of the pressure P of a fixed mass helium gas, helium gas trapped in a container with a fixed volume of 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter cube. So I have here a relationship between the pressure in kilopascal and temperature in Kelvin. It's linear relationship. Now remember the ideal gas equation, P pressure times volume will equal number of moles times the ideal gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin. If the volume is constant, so I can write this equation, I can rearrange this equation, it will become P, this is B is variable, it's related to the temperature is also variable, equals N is constant, number of moles is constant, ideal gas, ideal gas law R, it's 8.31 joule per Kelvin times mole is also constant, and the volume here constant. So P divided by T, it's constant. So I can rewrite this equation as P1 divided by T1 will equal P2 divided by T2. All of them are equal, they equal a constant. So the views whether helium behaves as an ideal gas over the temperature range between 250 till 5, 500 Kelvin, 500 Kelvin. So we're going to use this equation. We calculate first P1, P1 over T1, P1, the initial uh, pressure, and T1, the initial temperature, the initial pressure here is 100, and initial temperature is 200, so 100, and this is 100 kel, uh, uh, kilo pascal. Kilo, it means times 10 to the power 3 pascal. This is the pressure. Divided by temperature is 250 Kelvin. So the final answer, it's 400 pascal per Kelvin. Pascal per Kelvin. Now, if I need to calculate P2, P2 over T2, 500 Kelvin at 500 Kelvin, the temperature is 200. So 200, the, the pressure, sorry, the pressure 200 kilopascal. So it's 200 kilo times 10 to the power 3 divided by the temperature is 500 Kelvin. This is Pascal here and here Kelvin. This also will give me 400 Pascal per, per Kelvin. You see they're equal, they're equal. So over this range, over this range, helium behaves as an ideal gas. Okay, B, helium has a molar mass, molar mass mu equals four gram, four gram. Calculate the mass of gas in the container. Now remember this equation we've studied before, number of moles will equal mass divided by molar mass, mass divided by molar mass. We have the mass. OK, we have we have sorry, we have the molar mass, which is 
four, uh, four gram, I need to calculate M. So to find M, M will equal N times the molar mass, but we don't have N. How are we going to find N from the ideal gas equation? P times V will equal N R times T. I need N. N will equal P times V divided by R divided by the uh, R times T. R times T. Now the pressure we calculated from here from the previous uh, section is 400. Okay. Uh, this is the pressure divided by T. Pressure divided by T is 400. Okay, so this value here, this one, it's 400. Volume, the volume of the container, it's 1 times 10 to the power negative 3. Divided by R, R is 8.31. By the gas constant. And this will give me 4.8 times 10 to the power negative 2 mole. So if I need M, M will be N times molar mass in U. N it's 4.8 times 10 to the power negative 2 and the molar mass is 4 and the value will be 0 0.19 gram. 0.19 gram. Okay, last section of this question. We have a second container. The second container, same volume as the original container. So I have, this is the original container and second container, same volume, but the second container contains twice as many helium atoms. So if I have here, like suppose I have four or five, here I will have it twice. I have double, double, which means eight. Okay. Now the question is the graph of variation between pressure and temperature is determined for the gas in second container. Predict how the graph for the second container will differ from the graph for the first container. Now I should have linear relationship between pressure and temperature. Second container, since I have double the volume, double the number of moles, so the slope will also will be doubled. So I should have steeper graph. So the graph, if it's the original graph, the relationship it's, it's like this. When I double, this is for uh, container one, and this is container two. So for container one, since I double the number of moles, so I should have steeper. The slope will be will be steeper. OK, so the slope will be twice as steep. If you remember the old slope, the, uh, uh, I've got 400 pressure divided by temperature equal constant. And the value for this constant was 400. This is the old one. Pressure versus the temperature is 400. So the new one, the new one I should get for 800, 800 Pascal, the unit for pressure here, Pascal, per, uh, per Kelvin, Pascal per, per Kelvin. Y intercept should also be roughly zero and zero. So I should get a straight line when a temperature, suppose I have a temperature, uh, the, the initial temperature 250 here, here it was 100. So this one, it will be double. Double, that means I should get here 200, 200 Pascal. 